So hey there YouTube, I just thought to update you guys about what's going on with my life right now. My son is off of his summer school break and now he's going to be off of school for three weeks in a row, which I get the pleasure of hanging out with my son for three weeks on Mondays and Wednesdays. So I'm pretty much going to have a very slow, well I mean, hopefully my dad can help out and watch Brand for a couple hours or so. And I wanted to show you guys my new chair. It's, uh, we got a red chair again. Um, the other chair just, a lot of things were happening with it. It's just getting, it's just too beige. It was too hard to keep up with and uh, we had to sadly get rid of it. It was making our lives a lot uneasy. So I just thought I'd share with you guys about what's going on and just a lot of things I'm going through right now. Um, obviously no school for Brandon tomorrow, no work for me, so I'm going to be with him for the morning. And I'm um, going to be hanging out with him, hopefully. Um, if my dad doesn't find another job, I maybe hopefully my dad can help me out on Wednesday. So cross my fingers for that hopefully i can at least finish the rest of this month so that way my checks don't look so low by next not month um yeah so i did work for a couple weeks but uh they may change depending until august 15th is when my son is gonna be in first grade so i'm looking forward to seeing him in the first grade hopefully i can do a youtube channel about that when he gets out I mean, when he starts his first day of school. Hopefully I can update you guys about what's going on in my life and that my life has just been crazy. Yes, like crazy since my son came into my life and changed it all. But anyways, everything's okay. Um, we're just um, hanging in there just like anybody else in this world. If you have kids, you know exactly what I'm going through. And you know how tiring it could be at some times. And my grandma went to the hospital, went, um, to the emergency room. I guess she got admitted to the hospital and hopefully she'd be okay from that. I don't know what happened. I guess she got a little fluid in her lungs where she is, had to be hospitalized for it. So she's in the hospital, she's in good care, and then I'm just, we're just, it's a waiting game right now. We're just trying to find out what's going on with my grandma, if she's gonna be okay. If she's gonna, I know she's gonna be okay, but we don't know when she's gonna be coming home. So we're just trying to find out what we should do now, because um, right now is right now. And you know, we're still looking for a house to stay at in the valley. Um, yeah, but we're not looking as much as we were before because we can't really do much anyway. So what's the point of looking right now? Because there's just a lot of things going on with our economy and everything. And it's just very expensive right now to move out anywhere. I mean, a lot of people are moving out here. I mean, they're just moving away. Like, it gets very uh, tiring at some point. Like, and... Uh, sadly, um, my sister's, I don't know if I told you guys, but my sister's cat passed away, like, not too long ago. She got really sick and she died, uh, February, at the end of February, she passed away after her 13th birthday. She just passed away as my sister was going to take her to the vet, but she died in the car on the way to the vet to get extra to get chest to get some type of x-rays done and she just she just she just passed away in my sister's car like right in the front seat so yeah she's no longer with us but i know she's in a better place because i knew she was suffering out here and you know, she was not gonna make it like um and i kept having having feelings like she she wasn't going to make it on time, but she's okay. She's in heaven now, and she's, you know, she lived a good life for 13 years, and 
now she's uh, with my dog, so everything's okay. We, uh, there's always a special place for animals in heaven. Remember that, kids, if you're watching this, there's always a special place for your pets to go when they die. And I know my dog's up there, and I know they're okay, because they're being watched by guardian angels. So anyways, I love that cat. She was actually a part of our family, part of me, part of everybody, and we all love that cat to death, but fortunately, God wanted her more than us. Which is not a bad thing, it's a good thing. So anyways, um, and I'm still playing, I still have my Nintendo Switch, it's still nice, I still, I usually keep it locked away because my son gets into it and stuff like that, so I play with it whenever I get a moment to play with it. Like, it's hardly ever, like, my son's always here, so, I mean, I never get a chance. I mean, I do want to play with it when he's here, but it's just, my son can get a little grabby sometimes, so I have to kind of limit my time, his time on the Switch, because I don't want him to actually break it. I did spend a little, $300 on it, so, I mean, that took me forever. So it just took too long, and I tried. To, I try to keep it nice and clean as much as I can. But I think, you know, that's how stuff happens. So, anyways, I'm just kind of bored, kind of just trying to get my house cleaned up. I gotta get ready for the whole week, and you know, my son's goes does his his uh, stuff and during the week. And uh, his, he's not in school, but he gets help with uh, his, you know, his services. So at least a couple hours on Mondays and Wednesdays. I do get a little break um, midday because of that. And then my mom usually comes pick us up and stuff like that, or picks my son up, and she just does whatever she she wants she, she can with my son. And uh, we pretty much just. So yeah, also I have something I've been meaning to talk to you guys about. I have a everyday checking account. I mean, yeah. Well, Spargo. But now I'm thinking maybe I should go to Logix where it's $3.95 a month. And I think you open the savings account, checking account, I'm not sure which one, but um, well, the only, the only flaws about Logix is that they charge, supposedly, according to them, they do charge uh, $5, I think, for, for $5.95 out of checking and savings accounts. So that's $10 altogether, which I was trying to avoid that price in the beginning. But like I said, it could be 8 or 10 It's between 8 and $10 like if you qualify for if you go through, if you actually get your, um, uh, if you actually get your e statements like through, it's called e statements. So I guess it's if you um, get on the web website and you sign into your account online, then that's considered e statements. If you have that, set, if you set up your own profile on on their website, which is logics.com. That's considered e statements, and I think that's only they're gonna charge you three ninety five a month. And then if you have a um, if you have a savings account, they'll take out like money out of there. Like they'll just keep charging your savings account, which I think that's kind of bogus because that doesn't make any sense. Like how could you have a savings account and they dig into it? Like doesn't make any sense. It's your money. You should be able to keep it. But I guess you, I guess, I guess that's only works for people who have thousands of dollars. Because I don't see how that's possible for someone to take five dollars out of someone's earn, earn full money. You know what I mean? Like, really. But in a way, you could, if you think about it, like, you can always put back whatever they took out and stuff like that. But still, then they're just going to keep taking it out again. I mean, I mean, what's the whole point? I mean, you might as well just put five ninety five in there a month. And they just take that and you won't be broke. But banks these days. <sighs> it's worse than cell phones. 
I feel like strangling all the bakes is, eh. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. But anyways, like I said, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking about doing, or I can go back to B of A and do the the single swipe, the single, um, there's not only one person, so I don't really need too many banks, but, um, I was thinking about also going back to B of A and just doing the three months and then four ninety five a month and I'm done. I mean, that's, that's the best bet that I could think about is doing, because I don't know, this whole checking and savings is gonna work out for me or not i don't know yet i'm i'm still trying to decide what i should do uh see and that's when you guys come in i need your guys opinion on what i should do about my checking situation should i a go with logic to have a checking and a savings account and then possibly them charge my savings account or b number two do you guys think I should go to B of A and just do four ninety five a month and be done with it? I don't know. What's your opinion? Please leave comments below. And I just need everybody's opinion on what I should do. Should I go A, Logics, have a checking and savings account and possibly get charged with the savings account? Or B, should I just go with B of A? Or I have a C option is going with uh, West uh, Bank of the West, and they said that they would charge. They said that it's free if you you know you make deposits every now and then, um, every every first cycle, and then but they say that they char like their their checks won't clear until like depending on how much it is, it might take a little while for the check to clear. So that's my third option. So third option would be Bank of the West where the check won't clear for a week or two depending on how much the check is made available. If it's a low amount of check, if it's a low amount, that means your check probably will be available until um, probably the next day. Or if, it, if it's high amount, it won't be available for f f second to five days in a row and that's a long time that is a long time but that's only for the first couple checks and the other sad parts about it is that i won't have a, a checking account i won't have a card for three to five business days and they don't give out cards period logics and b of a will give it out but not the third bank the third bank won't give out the check the the debit card okay only one and two will not the third bank Third bank, no. These two will give out, and then sadly, the third bank won't give it out. So which one do you guys think I should choose? A, B, or C? I don't know. You guys leave me comments below. Tell me what, tell me what you guys think I should do. And have a nice day. And if you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to smash this like button if you like my video. And thank you and have a good day.